can make us happy, but that kind of happiness can be fleeting. Lasting happiness is not based solely on achievements or acquisitions. Rather, like good physical health, true happiness depends on a variety of factors. Each of us is unique. What makes you happy may not make someone else happy. Additionally, we change as we grow older. Yet evidence suggests that some things are more consistently associated with happiness. Find contentment. Bible principle? Let your way of life be free of the love of money while you are content with the present things. Money is a protection, observed a wise student of human nature, but he also wrote, A lover of silver will never be satisfied with silver, nor a lover of wealth with income. This, too, is futility. The writer, King Solomon of ancient Israel, actually experimented to see whether wealth and luxurious living fostered true happiness. I did not deny myself anything that I desired, he wrote. I did not withhold from my heart any sort of pleasure. What did he learn? His experiment made him somewhat happy, but not for long. I saw that everything was futile, he observed. There was nothing of real value. He even came to hate life. Yes, Solomon learned that a life of self-indulgence ultimately leaves one feeling empty and unfulfilled. Do modern studies agree with that ancient wisdom? An article published in the Journal of Happiness Studies observed that after one's basic needs are satisfied, additional income does little to advance one's subjective well-being. Indeed, findings show that increased material consumption, especially at the cost of moral and spiritual values, can erode happiness. Avoid envy. Bible principle let us not become egotistical, stirring up competition with one another, envying one another. Envy is defined as the painful or resentful awareness of an advantage enjoyed by another, accompanied by a desire to possess the same advantage. Like a malignant growth, envy can take over one's life and destroy happiness. How might envy take root? The Encyclopedia of Social Psychology observes that people tend to envy their equals, perhaps in age, experience, or social background. A salesman, for instance, might not envy a famous movie star, but he may envy a more successful fellow salesman. It is important to recognize the hostile nature of envy, says the aforementioned encyclopedia. This hostility explains why envy is associated with so many historical cases of aggression. An outstanding historical case involved Jesus Christ. Mark 15.10 says that out of envy, the chief priests handed Jesus over for execution. Envy, says the Encyclopedia of Social Psychology, can poison a person's capacity to enjoy the good things in life and snuff out feelings of gratitude for life's many gifts. Such tendencies are hardly conducive to happiness. We combat envy by cultivating genuine humility and modesty, which enables us to appreciate and value the abilities and good qualities of others. Cultivate love for people. Bible principle? Clothe yourselves with love, for it is a perfect bond of union. People's feelings about their relationships have a bigger impact on their overall satisfaction with their lives than do their job, income, community, or even physical health, says the book Social Psychology. Simply put, in order to be truly happy, humans need to give and receive love. If I do not have love, I am nothing, said a Bible writer. Build resilience. Bible principle, happy is the man who keeps on enduring trial, because on becoming approved, he will receive the crown of life. Who has a problem-free life? As the Bible says, there is a time to weep and a time to wail. Resilience helps us to get through such times, to bounce back from adversity. Carol has spinal degenerative disease, diabetes, sleep apnea, and macular degeneration that has blinded her left eye. Yet she says, I try not to feel discouraged for too long. I allow myself my pity party, 
But then I set my feelings aside and thank God for what I am still able to do, especially for other people. When people who are resilient make mistakes, they do not berate themselves with self-defeating language such as, I'm a failure or I'm useless. The Bible says, a crushed spirit saps one's strength. The book, The Power of Resilience, states that if you want to lead a resilient life, you must recognize that mistakes and failure are a natural occurrence. Your choice is the manner in which you respond to these events. Show yourselves thankful. Found at Colossians 3.15, that is sound advice. Studies suggest that reflecting on positive aspects of our life and showing appreciation for kindnesses rendered us can foster a heightened sense of well-being. When applied, the Bible's wisdom is a tree of life to those who take hold of it, and those who keep firm hold of it will be called happy. Why not discover that truth for yourself by tapping into the wisdom recorded in the Bible?